We are delivering on creating jobs and growing our economy. But we are at a critical junction when it comes to our state's workforce. Across the nation and here in our state, businesses are struggling to find the employees they need. We need more nurses, more teachers, more engineers. Tinker Air Force Base is rapidly expanding. I met with the Secretary of the Air Force at the Pentagon because we expect to add six to 10,000 jobs there over the next five years. Our state's workforce needs to grow at the same pace as our businesses. That means we have to be bold. Our entire education system must be aligned and motivated to meet this challenge head on. Let's tear down silos between K through 12, career techs, and higher ed to train the next generation. Every student needs to be college ready or career ready. The road to success looks different for every Oklahoman. We're all made in God's image, and he has a unique plan for each of our lives. That's why we have to provide career paths to match the skills of our students with the jobs in our communities. Let's increase apprenticeships in high school and pathways to jobs that don't require a college degree. Let's align and leverage our system to train every Oklahoman with the skills they need to provide for their family. In the middle of a nursing shortage, our universities can't be turning away qualified applicants like they are now. Instead, we need to reward universities for producing graduates in critical areas. Our state depends on it. One of the ways we can make a generational impact is by investing in infrastructure. Secretary of Transportation Tim Gatz has taken this challenge head on. Across the state, we're improving pavement and safety on urban and rural highways. We've made it to top 10 in bridges. A major project at 235 and 44 is almost complete. We've made great progress. But we know more can be done. The future of our economy will depend on having a modern highway system that manages congestion and has reliable travel times. Let's be bold. I'm calling to invest $13 billion in transportation over the next 10 years. We'll announce more details, including drone corridors and emerging mobility later this month. This is our moment to make Oklahoma transportation system the very best in the entire country.